So here we are coming together to uh, obviously recognize our fellow friend, and we're very honored to have a, a special guest with us tonight, Paul Salucci. And it's very appropriate th that we have our former governor here, someone that understood from his early days, his upbringing in his hometown of Hudson, what it means to give back to community. He served as a member of the Board of Selectmen. He worked in a family business. He went on to be a state representative, a state senator, a lieutenant governor, governor, and ambassador. So. And the most important thing, he never forgot his roots, never forgot where he came from, remembered his friends, and always has supported the Republican cause. And for that, we are very grateful. Yes. And you know, I remember, uh, was it 10 years, 1998, uh, our governor did something very important then. And he put on the ballot a question to roll back the state income tax to 5%. And 10 years later, guess what? It's still not rolled back here in Massachusetts. And what does that tell you? There are a couple of things. First of all, I don't think that the legislature and the executive branch and the governor, lieutenant governor, are in touch with the people. People are hurting. I know, the local officials know, our phones are ringing off the hook with people that are really out straight feeling a difficult time. They don't want to pay any more in taxes. In fact, they can't pay any more in taxes. Yet we have a, a government that's just not in tune with what's going on. There are absolutely no checks and balances. When, when Paul Salucci came into office, he was able to balance out a Democrat legislature. It was very good for the people. Right now, we, out of 160 House members, George and I are one of uh, two of 19, and John will be one of five out of 40 in the state Senate. What sort of checks and balances does that represent? And the other issue that was obviously prominent 10 years ago, but still evident today, is the whole issue of accountability or lack thereof. Does this all sound familiar, Governor? And it's the same thing that's still evident in our state government. It's not right, it's not acceptable, and the people of this state ought to be outraged. And how can you change things? You can elect people that understand, that have been small business people, that have served on a local board, and that just have a good conservative fiscal sense and a caring and compassionate way to do the right thing. That certainly is John LeBeau, and I certainly know. 